What's up, guys? It's Real Deal Minecraft bringing you another episode of Real Deal Minecraft. Today, we're going to be going over my latest redstone display, which happens to be a digital clock, and it's pretty cool. It took me a while to find out all the wiring, but I finally got it done. All that's left to do is hide all this ugly wiring and make a cool building that will go with it. But let's see how it works. So, right now it's displaying 658 and currently it's not on right now so I'm gonna show you that you can set it to whatever you may desire so it's 658 now let's just say we wanted to set it to oh I don't know let's say 7 so now that's 708 since we added 10 minutes so that's 708 let's go let's just go check if that's Yes, 708. Good job. I didn't know if that would work. Well, I kind of did, but I don't know. Well, let's just say 10. So we'd have to add 3 hours to 7 because 7 plus 3 is 10. So 7, 18. Let's say that. So Or 10, 18. So if we go look at our clock, we can now see that 10, 18 is now displayed. So you can set it to whatever time you want while the clock is not running um, I've never tried it while it's running but I don't think that would be good and then you can start the clock by pressing the real deal time clock button and notice it goes down this very long path of redstone repeaters which equal one minute and it's not exactly one minute it's because of these repeaters they still have to go through there but it's that is equal to one minute because I have 150 repeaters there or 75 because you have to half it um, because it will turn on and off but basically it's pretty much one minute it's about four seconds off or so so right now you can see that it's running because of the decimals are blinking on and off and after one minute the 18 should turn to 19 and while we're waiting I just want to take this time to ask if anybody knows some different recording system on the computer that can record things on your computer please tell me I would really love to know that because the quality on this one is not so good and if you guys know anything about that just leave it in a comment so I can upgrade and we can all benefit from it so now what you're seeing is it's going through the repeater going to the display changing it to a 9 so now it's 10 19 and this will go on and on and on and reset itself so basically another thing that I may add is an AM or PM button right about there so if I could add that that would be pretty cool nice addition so I'm gonna show you how this works and please remember that this is really hard to explain so if something doesn't make sense feel free to go download the save file which will always be in the description and for now on I'm gonna keep the most updated version on my channel so if you want to get the updated version please go to the channel and it will be in the section about me and it will be in there a link so let's get started the main background of my engine right here is T flip-flops you notice there's one right here right here and it just goes all the way down and turns like that so basically there's four T flip-flops for this one because it has to start it has to go start from 0 to 9 and then reset this one has 3 because it only has to go to 6 and the highest 3 bit number is 7 and then so on you may be able to guess them but for the first display it needs to go to 9 and then reset to 0 but the highest number for a 4-bit number is 15. So if I didn't do anything to these T flip-flops, it would count up to 15, you know, 0 through F, and then reset back at 0. And of course, you don't want to read a digital clock, you know, with a random C or F in it. So what I had to do was make it reset at 9. So you guys know if you take T flip-flops and you take the output of one and connect it to the input of another, it will count down. So let's say you had two for a two-bit number. If you put a constant pulse through the first one, it will count down three, two, one, zero, and then start over. Um, now also, if you invert them, 
If you invert the output of one into another one, it will count up, which is obviously what I want. So this will count up 0 through 9. So right when it reaches 9, which it is right now, you see that this bit right here, which has a value of 8, will come into this section of the NAND gate, and then this bit right here, which has a value of 1, will come into this section of the NAND gate, which is turning this off. If the 1 happened to be off and just 8 were displaying, then that would be on. And they both go into this. So I guess this is kind of anded, but this right here is from the clock generator, which I have right there, which equals 1 minute. So when it turns to 9, this will allow to be turned on when the next pulse comes through. So the next pulse comes through, it comes through here, it comes into these parts of this toggle flip-flop, these two in the second one. So what this does is it allows no information to go through in this toggle flip-flop because when the next pulse comes through, one will turn off and the second one will turn on. So we don't want this one to turn on. So we make sure that nothing is allowed to go through. And it'll also come through here and reset the eighth one, or the bit that is worth eight. And it'll reset that back to zero. And basically, this was probably the most annoying redstone thing that I've done ever because of the very tedious timing problems. A lot of just, just trying things, you know? just hopefully it would work and if it didn't well then you're just gonna have to try again and basically so finally I got it all to work and that's how you reset it back to zero so every time this reaches nine it'll reset back to zero now how does this communicate to the next set of T flip-flops well it's anded right here all the outputs also go into this decoder you didn't notice and this decoder will decode the numbers into that display so when this equals zero when all of these are off or on actually these will all be off and all of these are anded at this point so whenever this equals zero this will turn on right here coming into a pulse generator which gives a very quick pulse and that's how it communicates to these three tip T flip-flops which goes into this decoder into this one so with three T flip-flops the highest number you can get is seven but I wanted it to count to five and then reset back to zero because it's 59 and then zero so what happens is the very same thing um, the T flip-flops will count up and I NANDed the that one which has a value of 4 and this one with a value of 1 which equals 5 and I guess it's ANDed right here and also the pulse from this pulse generator comes here gets inverted into here so when this is 5 when this equals 5 this will turn off and when the next pulse comes through it will hold the second one because I don't want anything to come into there since it's off and then it'll also come this way and reset right here reset the bit that is equivalent to four so basically that's how that works and everything is timed to come on at the same time and then it's actually over here gets decoded into there now this one was the most was very very hard because it has to count up to nine reset back to zero and carrying the the one and then count up to two for twelve and then reset back to one and then this would have to turn off it was it took me a while to find this out but i finally did and i'm pretty proud of it so when this equals zero when these three bits all equal zero they all get ended at this point and goes through this pulse generator simple so this pulse will come into these four T flip-flops from this one all the way down to this one and it'll count up. So I did the same thing that we did on the first one I did here. So one and the eight one 
will get NANDed at this point right here and then the pulse generator will do that its thing and then it'll reset back to zero so that's good it'll reset back to zero which is what I want and it also has to carry the one and which is which is this T flip-flop right here and notice whenever this equals zero whenever it gets resetted basically it goes into this T flip-flop into this decoder which only needs one and one will turn on like it is now now when one is on that signal will come through this way into this NAND gate so it's a different one this NAND gate is NANDed with the second bit which means that 2 is in here and 1 is in here which means that 12 is being displayed when 12 is being displayed this will turn off which means that this will be resetted when the next pulse comes through so basically here it is it comes through here it resets that this is the next pulse that will come and reset this and that's all we needed to reset because 2 is the only one that's on 2 is 1 0 in binary so that's basically how all the T flip flops work remember I know this is confusing please download the world save file if you don't understand anything and if you want the schematic file I might also do that so that's how that works I guess and also this is all delayed in such a way that each one will turn on exactly when it's supposed to so when this turns zero this has to turn two right at the right moment and that's because of these repeaters and that's that and also um, how to set the clock with you know adding one hour ten minutes basically they all come into a pulse generator which comes into their T flip flop it's pretty simple so that's one minute and then the ten minute one will come into its T flip flop right here and then the one hour one will come into this one you just have to make sure that it's in front of the pulse generator and that this pulse generator is equivalent to this one so that everything is worked is working properly so it's really good you can set it to whatever you want and then you can start the time and of course the only pulses comes through the first T flip-flop which is where this is set all of these will come into this generator right here and I have this just because I'll, I'll explain that in a second and it goes into this first T flip-flop and now I have this monostable circuit because whenever I turn this on this display on sorry about that um, the first pulse will actually go through and then change it in like two seconds and I didn't want that so when I press this button it doesn't allow anything to go through the very first one and then it'll turn off so that's how it works as it turns night right now I guess I will start departing and remember guys you are please tell me in the comment if there is any other recording thing that I can that you guys know about please tell me about it because I would really love to upgrade and make these videos a lot better for you and also for me so that's it guys see you later bye